back everybody welcome to everyday organics if this is your first time here make sure you hit that subscribe button today i wanted to talk about things i would have done differently for our system and what i will do differently once we expand and make it more of a commercial type setting um so take any little tidbit you can there's not anything right or wrong with it it's just things that i have learned that i definitely would change moving forward watched a ton of videos read a lot of books and figured out how to build our system but there isn't one specific setup that necessarily works for everybody that's the beauty of aquaponics is that you can adjust things and try things out and make things work for you and your scenario your environment your setup and so let's jump right into it but the first one that I would do I would not run my water line into the bottom of my tanks as you can see I made that adjustment on our last set of table to where I made one less hole in each of the beds run to my pump if you notice on this one my water comes in right there so I created a, a hole in our drain beds one more spot for it to leak that I probably will not do it moving forward when we expand now is it wrong no it works great it makes it clean it makes it easy I don't have a bunch of extra trip hazards out there as you can tell I've got three areas that got one there I've tried to place them to where they're spread out least amount of pipe used but most functional for walking around where our pumps needed to be where our electrical will end up being for all of the pumps and the aerator that is the number one thing for my system and what I've learned that I would definitely do differently is not create extra holes for the system to run into leaks now that's not like I said it works doesn't leak but the potential for it leaking is always going to be there unless you run it like I showed you on the tanks right behind me where I ran it up in between and it dumps into it a lot of systems out there that you'll see online do that anyways a lot of them do it where they feed the water into it not one is right or wrong it's just difference of opinion and how to make the system work for you number two figure out where your sunlight is for us we're in this pole barn as you can see above me and so I haven't changed any of the roofing panels out to clear to help extra light come in I haven't added lights yet to our system to sort of make up some of the difference of the back half of our tables that set further under the pole barn but we planted plants just to get things going didn't really think things through as far as how plants grow differently and which ones need more sunlight which ones need less what's going to block plants and I'll show you that specifically in this table alone so I've got cantaloupe at the front got watermelon back here it's starting to to take off some but as you can tell a lot of it has struggled because it's been choked out of its light now once I add lights that won't be as big of an issue tomatoes you know you can see the front is definitely taller the back has done all right and it started to take off but with our cucumber which vines and grows up it chokes out a lot of that afternoon sun that we get as you can see it does get sunlight on the front and the back just doesn't get a whole lot of direct sunlight so that's the second thing that I would change do differently third thing is ideally you'd want it in a fully enclosed situation we are working on adding metal 
old roofing tin to the bottom to keep critters out, to keep rodents out. And once we get towards winter time, the plan is this upper half to go ahead and use a clear plastic to enclose this and we will bring in fans and heat source to help with any temperature changes. But it has created an issue with just the shade screen on because as you can see up there, you still have areas that birds, bugs, we've had a big caterpillar issue on our system that we've just about got under control and gotten rid of them all. But with openings like this, that will always be an issue. Sec third thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, understand and, and really plan out what plants need to go where and I'll stress that again as you can see our squash is just taking over this entire bed a lot of the this this is mustard right here we got some shishito peppers but understand what you're planting and how big some of it can get uh, this is our mustard bed you know we've got five different varieties of mustard that we plan on producing actual just different German mustards, hot mustards, mild mustards, along with our pickling stuff. We've got the asparagus in here. So those three items are the things that I wish I would have changed. Now, with our system here, it's not a necessity, but the fourth one is if you're doing this for a commercial setting, our system isn't really set up as commercial because we wanted to involve the kids so you can see our water tanks are out in the middle. We sort of made it our hangout area. We got a table, a little lounger. And so we've created this space to involve the kids, give them something fun to do. You know, I, Jessica posted a video with Jumpy the Koi Fish. Our son every day wants to come out and feed Jumpy. So it's a great system to include the, your family, include your friends. You know, we hold, hold a vendor's market out here twice a month and people come out and always ask us, can we check out the system? So we've created it to bring people in, get to learn about it, get to share our experience with it, and just see how quickly the plants grow, the ecosystem being fully operational, and it's just a fun atmosphere to include friends and family and people that just are interested in it. So all those items are things that simple, easy changes for us moving forward on how we would set it up. But if there's anything that you guys have run into, leave us a comment below. Uh, we hope these tips help. If not, give us some feedback. I got thick skin. And take criticism quite well. So, hope it helps. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all soon.